Alright, I've come to the conclusion right now I'm looking at three albums in my mind state. I've done, I was working on my gift, which is basically a lyrical joint. It's mostly just, you know, I'm ill telling the world introduction, introduction of who I am. Then there's my album that I'm working on now, which is called Sleepwalking. The last album I had in mind was Billy Williams, my best friend. And Sleepwalking is what I'm focusing on now because I think the world needs it. Sleepwalking basically, you know, we dream every night and we daydream every day. So everybody's sleepwalking. It's an album that can relate to everybody. There's basically a lot of things going on. I think there's a lot of wool being pulled over people's eyes. I think that a lot of people are being easily fooled. Um, and I think that it's very important as a concept for this album to come out. Uh, deep stories, once again you know, that deal with human emotion, but this one here mostly has to do with psychology, um, and I'm working on that, it'll be 16 tracks, I'm coming to you sooner than later, love how I plug that, that was so prominent, you know, um, but you know, I've worked on a lot of things, I've been in two independent films, acting, you know, uh, I've been emceeing, as we discussed from the beginning, since like 10, Got a ton of freestyles, ton of radio shows. Worked on Duke University Radio with, with Little Brother. Um, basically, MC at the drop of a hat at the time. Um, you know, I've done uh, a, f a lot of a few mixtapes, mixtapes with DJ Ooh. Um, you know, I, that I actually have. I'll probably be putting out. I've done some exclusive songs with a producer from Yonkers, my boy Colossus. You know, which I'll be putting those songs out. Um, I got the MySpace page, um, myspace.com backslash Jahan Nostra. That's J A H A N N O S T R A all together. Got about four songs up there. Um, you know, we uh, basically I got a click to Cairo Suicide. Shout out to them. You know, um, shout out to De Niro and my boy Hood, Brian Court. All extended family, you know what I'm saying? We got all them in the works. They're all doing it. As a matter of fact, they're working every day. They've been in the studio consistently. I was talking with some peeps from my old home in UP uh, the other day, and they've been in the lab working on a new mixtape. Um, you know, we got my boy Cairo in Vegas, got the out of my hands joint. We got a joint popping off. And uh, my boy Suicide is still doing songs too. He basically just put on a website that I'm about to get put on to. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's, you know, basically, you know, I'm an MC when, when you need it, but also a songwriter. Um, I got some projects in the work of some works right now, like I said, hopefully by this summer, Sleepwalking will be out, I'll be hustling you know, 16 tracks. And who, who you working with on this album, Sleepwalking? On this album, we got the producer. Most likely from top to bottom, unless I get some other tracks from Colossus, which I may put on there. I'll see. We got my boy Papa Pill. Papa Pill is exclusive. He worked with Rakim. He's worked with Abandoned Nation, which is Saigon's crew. Anybody that knows Saigon is another dope MC. Um, there's uh, a slew of artists that he has. MDE. Um, my boy Ev. You know who I've known for a while. I'm gonna do our rap with. You know, scavengers. You know, um, he does videos. You know. He's a phenomenal producer. He got some fire. He beats is crazy. And I think people are gonna really love him. Me and Papa Bill bring to the table. It's out. It's really gonna be the first. I got four tracks almost done already. I got another four coming that I can't wait to jump on. I got the right choruses. I got some good collaborations, you know, on how you can expect Rakim's brother. You know what I'm saying? I got a few other people that I have that I collaborated with on the, uh, on the album. Got some nice treats. So I think this album will change hip hop. I think it'll put Connecticut on a good course. Um, I think it'll be uh, digestible for everyone. Streets, hip hop ads, women, you know what I'm saying? Uh, executives, you know, you, you can be, you know, I don't know, the president can listen to my shit, you know, straight up, because I'm gonna have that much diversity. My point is that we got much diversity and that much uh, it's gonna have it's gonna carry that far. So I'm looking 
for it to that project. That's really what I'm working on right now. That's what I'm focused on right now. And uh, you know, just and also just just you know, being on the scene. Any cipher I can get on. You can go to the Fairfield Jahan Cipher, Fairfield University on YouTube. Check me out. You can also go to Jahan Freestyle. Upload, uploaded by my uh, technician specialist and executive producer, 303. Uh, you can check those out. You want to get a little taste, a little appetizer of what's going on. And, uh, you know, I'm going to let my album do a lot of talking. I don't have really much to say because um, it's really coming along and, you know, it's really doing a lot. It's communicating very well. All right. I uh, just wanted to uh, conclude, I guess, with uh, the bright sides of hip-hop. What do you, what do you, what do you see as the bright sides of hip-hop? You know, new technology, you know, and music in general. I think the bright side of hip hop is it comes in the heart. It's just, it's just, that, you know, and it's kind of a funny answer, but I said dealing with deep emotion. I'm gonna say this: it just comes from what you in your heart want to do and have a passion for. It. Now the tools. Now let's relate that to to the new, you know, technology. Now you have the ability to really go in and do a lot of things to your heart content. You know, Soldier's Boy's career was straight made up off of, you know. MySpace, you know, or whatever have you. And you got a lot of other artists like that that get their stuff out, don't necessarily have to be so mainstream. You got the iTunes and everything else. On the flip side, you do get a lot of people that think they can get involved in this, you know, just because they have a computer. Now, there's other jobs besides them seeing. If you want to try it, go ahead, you know, because the more, I don't really hate, the more sucker MCs, the merrier. But at the end of the day, you know, it's like there's a lot of things to do besides just music. Um, but it's great to have the technology. I would say yes, the technology is the cutting edge of hip hop. It really has helped everything, but it's really helped hip hop a lot in a sense that whereas the people that couldn't get heard before are being heard now. You know, the only flip side is that you got a lot of people that, you know, just feel because they got a, a dot com get up on there in the MC, but you know, I don't even see that as a bad side. I see it as a great side because, like I said, the more that get in, the merrier. I would hope eventually that you, you know, you see the light because the true good stuff is always going to shine through no matter what happens. Even the BS, no matter what the industry promotes, good music will always shine through. Great music. And that's what I love to do. That's what I'm here to make. That's my mission. My rapping in conclusion. That's what it's all about. All right. In concluding, I always ask this to everyone I interview. Uh, what is the greatest piece of advice you've ever received? Hmm. I've received a lot of advice. Uh, the greatest, you know, there's probably a, a couple that are on the same bar. But the greatest piece of advice I've probably ever received came from my father. He said, he quoted a line from from speech from Arrested Development, but he kind of like said it in his own way. But he said, uh, "You can't be passive. You gotta be active. You can't go with what looks attractive." And he was saying it to me though, not in a rapper. He said it to me at a, a crucial time in my life that really made me feel like, "Yo, in order to make anything happen, you gotta get out there and really, really be doing things." Key line was you can't be passive, you gotta be active. Um, and um, I think those are that's some of the best piece of information that you can give to a person trying to make it. All right. All right. Thanks, Jahan, for the interview. Uh, hope to see some more of you.